Have you ever wondered why we don't ride zebras? It's an intriguing question, isn't it? Zebras after all are part of the Equidae family, closely related to horses and donkeys. Yet unlike their cousins, zebras have never been truly domesticated. The answer to this question is multifaceted and it starts with the nature of zebras themselves. Zebras are wild animals and they've evolved to be that way. Their behaviors, instincts, and physical traits are all geared towards survival in the wild. This makes them inherently difficult to tame. While individual zebras can be trained, their wild instincts make them unpredictable and potentially dangerous. Additionally, zebras are smaller than horses. Their backs aren't as strong which makes them less suitable for riding. Even if you could train a zebra to accept a rider, the physical strain could be detrimental to the animal. Another factor is the zebra's social structure. Zebras live in small, tight-knit family groups, with complex social dynamics. This is quite different from the herd behavior of horses. Horses have a clear pecking order, which humans can take advantage of in the process of domestication. Zebras, on the other hand, don't have a hierarchical structure that humans can easily manipulate. There's also the matter of breeding. Zebras have a slower reproduction rate compared to horses. This makes it challenging to breed zebras in large numbers, which is necessary for domestication. In summary, while zebras may resemble our domesticated horses, they are a different beast altogether. Their wild nature, smaller size, complex social structure, and slow breeding rate all contribute to why we don't ride zebras. It's a fascinating topic that reveals just how much the process of domestication has shaped the animals we're familiar with today. At first glance, the question of why we don't ride zebras might seem trivial, but delve a little deeper, and it becomes a window into the complex world of animal behavior, evolution, and our relationship with the natural world. Isn't it fascinating how much can be learned from such a simple question? So next time when you see a zebra, remember, they're not just striped horses, they're a testament to the wild, untamed spirit of nature.